You started the computer-based training session on wiring diagrams. Part 3. This chapter explains about the wiring diagrams of the Actros and Otago vehicles, and in particular looks at the areas of the diagram covering the lighting circuit. It also describes how to locate the appropriate diagram. Disc 1 of the Mercedes-Benz Wiring Diagram CBT program covered the basic principles of reading the diagrams and the meaning of some of the symbols. This disc looks more specifically at the heavy commercial vehicle diagrams and will help technicians gain a more thorough understanding of the diagrams with which they work more regularly. To begin our description of the wiring diagrams for the Actros and the Tego vehicles, we look at the main areas of the Actros lighting circuit. Once again, let's assume that our technician needs to find the cause of a fault, and this time the problem is with the rear fog lamp. In the wiring diagrams, you'll find the rear fog lamp circuit included within the main lighting circuit. To locate the correct diagram, you'll first refer to the component search aid and find the light switch. As you can see, it's here close to the bottom of the list. This right-hand column shows the basic diagram number in which you will find the light switch. However, there are often several versions of diagram depending upon the vehicle's year of manufacture. For this reason, you need to note the diagram number and then refer to the Survey of Wiring Diagrams to confirm that this is the correct diagram. Here, you find listed the diagram number and its title and the model to which it's applicable. Click on the diagram that's correct for our 1999 model Actros. Yes, that's right. This is the diagram that contains the lighting circuit applicable for our Actros model. This chapter describes the lighting circuit including the rear fog lamp. It also describes the function of the bulb monitor units and the connectors on the rear of the base module and those that connect the chassis and cab wiring. In this chapter, you'll also find information about the routing to other diagrams, such as the instrument cluster. This is a graphical version of the diagram and includes the main components of the side lights, headlights and fog lamp circuits. The area at the top of the diagram is the base module. And the remainder of the page includes the lighting switch, wiring and some of the lamp assemblies. When looking at a diagram to see how the lighting circuit operates, it's usually best to find first the main lighting switch. On this diagram, it's slightly unusual because two switch symbols are shown. Firstly, click on both lighting switch symbols on the diagram to confirm that you can recognize them. Yes, well done. That's correct. The reason for two switches being shown on the diagram is that there are two versions of lighting switch and wiring depending upon the vehicle specification. You'll find a brief explanation towards the end of the legend. 
If we assume that the vehicle our technician is working on has a specification suitable for mainland Europe, then which of the two switch symbols is applicable? Click on the appropriate symbol on the diagram. Yes, that's correct. This is the switch applicable to mainland Europe. The other switch symbol includes the number 191 within brackets. The legend states that this is suitable for Nordic countries only. For reasons of safety and convenience, some of the exterior lights on the Actros vehicle are monitored for correct operation. In the event of a bulb failure, a display on the instrument cluster illuminates to warn the driver. The bulb monitor units, of which there are several for checking different circuits around the vehicle, are electronic components. They're located in the base module, and each separate device is responsible for monitoring a specific light circuit. On the diagram, a bulb monitor unit is identified by this symbol. The component has three connections. The method of determining the circuits that are monitored by the unit is to first note its three connections. Only the circuits joined to the component's bottom connection are monitored. So in this example, this particular unit will monitor only these two bulbs. The bulb monitor unit has a further two connections. The terminal entering at the top of the unit provides the power supply and the remaining connection at the pointed end connects to the bulb monitor control unit. The circuit from the bulb monitor unit to the lamps leaves the base module at this terminal connector. The connector is one of a series of separate multi-pin connector blocks on the rear of the combined fuse box and base module. A letter and number, X1, X2, and so on, classify the individual connector blocks. This diagram will help you see how the blocks are arranged on a heavy commercial vehicle. As you can see, connector block X2 is at the top of the module. To find out to which the terminal cable is connected, we need to return to the wiring diagram. The cable leaves the base module at terminal designation X2 12 stroke 3. And you already know that the X2 denotes the connector block. The remaining numbers simply explain that it's a 12 chamber connector block and the cable is in chamber 3. Note that although it's a 12-chamber connector block, often not all the chambers are used. To help you visualize the cable's location, here's a diagram of the socket on the rear of the base module and of the wiring connector plug viewed from the front. In our example, the cable leading to the lamps leaves the base module via terminal 3 of connector X2. The identification of the other connector blocks on the rear of the base module and the layout of their terminal numbers are virtually identical. To help identify the different connectors, they're color-coded as follows. Those with six chambers are blue, and those with nine are yellow. Twelve chamber connectors are green, fifteen are purple, eighteen are grey, and the twenty-one chamber connectors are brown. From the connector on the base module, the circuit continues down the diagram to the lamps via another connector. This X6.2 connector is one of many within the chassis to cab connector station that joins all the electrical circuits from the chassis and power unit to those within the cab. The connector station is the largest on the vehicle. The arrangement and identification of the connectors within the station varies between Actros, Econic and Atego models. However, as an example, we're going to explain the layout of that of an Actros vehicle. To begin with, let's remind ourselves of the cable and connector designation, which we're looking at on the wiring diagram. It's connector designation X6.2, 18 stroke 9, and it's a yellow and black cable.
To explain the layout of the connector station, here's a diagram. The connector blocks are arranged in rows, and each row is assigned a letter and a number. So in our example, we know that the connector block we're looking for is in row X6. Note that on right-hand drive vehicles, the diagram will be a mirror image. The number following the point classifies the blocks within each row. The final classification is to identify each terminal within the connector. On the Actros, most plugs and sockets have 18 chambers. This diagram explains the arrangement of the 18 chambers within the connector. This example shows chamber 9. So to summarize, let's see if you can locate another connector block and terminal, that of X3.1, 18 stroke 9, in the connector station. Firstly, in which row is the connector located? Click on the row. Yes, that's right. Now click on the correct connector block. Yes, that's right. Now click on the chamber to which the cable is connected. Yes, that's right. As we already explained, the arrangement of the chassis cab connector varies according to the vehicle. The connector designations for other models can be broken down in a similar way. It's really only their layout that differs. Here for reference purposes are two diagrams showing the arrangement of the chassis cab connector station of the Otago and Econic models. You can flip back and forth between the two diagrams using the vehicle symbols.